is me and today's video is probably going to be one of the most exciting videos I am making this year because today I'm going to be introducing you guys to my new horse. So currently it's the day before I pick the new horse up um, and I'm just doing the last minute preparations to get everything ready for him. Yes, I can finally tell you now that it is a gelding. Probably not too much of a shock for you guys since I already have three other geldings so it made sense to have a gelding rather than a mare. Um, I have tried to keep it a secret but it's a him, okay? <laughs> um, so anyway, I am currently getting the van all ready because it's quite a long journey and I thought I'd film the intro now because I've got to get up probably before 4am tomorrow because we're picking him up at 8.45 and it's a very long car journey to get where we are going. So um, it's an early one. Um, it's all nice and clean in the cab at the moment, which is nice because I think uh, it was a little bit sandy from taking the horses to the beach. So it's nice not having sand covered seats. We have the sat nav, got the radio, got some music, you know, got some snacks, getting everything ready. Um, but I thought I'd show you around the back first because a little sneaky peek. All right, so the most exciting thing I'm going to show you is his new bucket. His colour's going to be yellow. He's going to have yellow matchy matchy things like Casper's is purple, Joey's is green and Mickey's is blue. Just so then everything's colour coordinated. You guys know me. Um, I also have a massive bucket of Bailey's Tasty Treats um, in case, he, you know, it's quite a long journey. You know, it'd be nice to give him some treats along the way every now and again if we do need to stop off to get things like petrol. Um, we have two haylage nets, so that's all ready. We have shavings, just in case I need to put some shavings in the back because it's a long journey. We have a whole thing of water. We have a pooper scooper, but if I show you around the back or around in the middle, it's a little bit different. It's a little, little different in here. So I've had a chat to his owners and because of the size of him, this is how he prefers to travel. So um, we've made a few changes for now. We don't have the middle partition that is gone just with traveling. He finds it easier um, not having that there. So that is gone. We also don't have the um, breast bar here either because of his size. Again, I have chatted to his owner. This is all on their specifications because, you know, it's a big change moving a horse to a new home. Um, we want to make it, you know, as similar as what he's used to. Um, so that's gone. But yeah, I'll just need to put the haylage net up later, get everything ready. But it's looking good, guys. I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, I will see you tomorrow when I am probably vlogging in the front of the horse box. Very tired from an early start, but also very excited. Hello everybody and welcome to the most excited I've probably ever been at 4am. So um, I'm speaking a little bit quieter because it is kind of the middle of the night or very early in the morning, whichever way you want to put it. But um, I've now got everything ready in the van, it's very early, I want to sleep again and I'll see you guys when we're picking up the new horse or probably when we're on the road actually, when we're on the road. Okay, bye bye, see you later. of times to search for light It's easy to turn to the darkness in my mind But I'll be alright Alright everybody, it's now a little bit earlier this morning I mean later I have woken up too early today. Um, it's 8 a.m. now. I'm on the side of the A303, you know, at service station. Very glam. I feel like I spend my life at service stations at the moment. Um, but that might have given you guys a bit of a clue of where we're going today. Um, it's going to be a very big clue, I'm going to tell you now. But um, yeah, the new horse is from World Horse Welfare. We're heading over to Glenda Spooner Farm now, which is very exciting. Um, I've actually seen the new horse 
This will be my third time seeing him, which is very exciting. Obviously, later I'm going to tell you a bit more about his story, how he ended up at World Horse Welfare, because um, I am rehoming him, so very exciting. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for you guys to meet him, but it's time to get back on the road, get driving, and get there. very excited I've just been handed his passport I've signed all the forms I need to do I'm just putting some shavings in I think I'll put it probably put it in this corner here so if he does need a wee on the journey he's got somewhere to do it um, so I've been told to put about a third in so that should be fine there we go there we go that should be fine Awesome. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, here he is. This is Duke. Um, so he is, he's just turned one, I believe, and he is a Welsh mountain pony. He's about that big. <laughs> he's 11, 11 ish hands, so he's very small, and they don't think he's going to grow that much more. No, he is very, very affectionate. Yes, you want to eat your lead rope, don't you? Yes. So um, I thought I'd tell you a little bit more about his story. So he was found only a few days out old on a Welsh mountain hillside, all on his own without his mum. I'm going to stand up. Yes, good boy. Um, without his mum, so World Horse Welfare had to take him in because he couldn't survive out there on his own without a mum. So he's been hand reared his whole life. He has a very big personality. Yes. Um, so I'm going to speak with Sarah in a little bit, who is his handler, who's kind of been his mum through the whole process. So um, it's going to be quite sad for her because obviously she's seen him growing up and things over the year. Yes, that he's been here. We also had to go through a whole process as well to get him. So I had to send him videos of our yard where he'd be staying to World Horse Welfare. I also had to <laughs> send him some handling videos to make sure that because even though he is small, he does need to be handled like a proper horse. Um, but especially as he's a baby, you know, there's a lot of things I need to teach him if it's getting used to being um, led around. Obviously, he's um, kind of, Mickey is going to be kind of like his best friend slash teacher so he's going to sort of show him how to be a horse if that makes sense a little bit um so they're going to settle in together hopefully we've got a long journey to get home but hopefully he's a good boy and he's just so sweet guys we fell absolutely in love with him and obviously we didn't really need another horse but he needed a home and here at world horse welfare you know um they have to make room for new horses that are coming in and it was his time to be rehomed and yeah just very excited that he's coming home with us so I'm now here with Sarah, who is the um, Glenda Spooner Farm Assistant Manager here at World Horse Welfare. So tell me a little bit more about Duke and what I should expect when bringing him home. So um, because Duke was um, really young when he came, he hadn't been handled at all. Mm -hmm. And um, it's really important that we uh, maintain his ground rules and his boundaries because he still is only very young. Yeah. Um, he is very confident, but there are times when he shows a little bit of anxiety mm -hmm. or being unsure about something. So for example, when he's led, if he's not sure about coming away from his friends he'll sometimes stop so it's just giving him a little bit of time um, to think about what he's doing and to praise him when he gets it right so a little bit a little bit like a young child really yeah. So Duke isn't used to being stabled. Um, the most he is kind of used to is being in a crew yard like this. So we're going to be changing our yard a little bit. So him and Mickey kind of have a crew yard situation going on because also we have to be really careful about his weight management, I believe, as well, you were saying. Yeah, absolutely. Um, he's lived out for most of his life, but he's had stabling 
as part of his sort of education. Mm -hmm. He found it a little bit stressful to start with, but he's starting to get used to sort of short periods, like an hour or so when he's got a friend next to him. So mm -hmm. he will learn to be able to do that in a home. And the importance with weight management is that he is a native pony. They are prone to weight gain and mm -hmm. obviously things like laminitis. So he has always been on restricted grazing yeah. and it's important to manage that, especially in the spring and the summer when the grass is coming through. Mm -hmm. And in the autumn time when we get the late flushes, um, he also goes with um, a weigh tape in his loan pack okay. and we have his weight on there which we've done um, yesterday so mm -hmm. that you can uh, weigh him weekly and yeah. you can keep an eye on his weight and his body condition score and all the information in the loan pack um, gives you lots about the body condition scoring as well. Awesome. Good boy. There we go. <laughs> we won't, won't be eating that. No. You're so sweet. Okay, we are ready to go. I have my helmet and gloves on ready to lead him put him in the van and hopefully he has a good journey back. It's going to be a bit of a long one, mate, but you get to meet lots of friends when we get home. Yeah, are you ready? Should we go? Come on then. A little bit of a step they have to climb over. Up, up. Good boy. in the back and we're on our way home. He actually loaded really well, which we're really happy with, but obviously we didn't want to film that. We didn't want to put any pressure. And also it was kind of like emotional because Sara being his handler for like over a year, um, she had to say goodbye to him and you know, want to give them a bit of space and things. Obviously really, like I couldn't do it. Um, looking after all these horses, because obviously at World Horse Welfare, these horses do need to be rehomed. They need homes. Um, but it must be sad saying goodbye as well. But so far, he's traveling really well. He's in the back right now, he's chilling. You can see him now. Yeah, he's standing really still. He's getting the hang of it. Yep, had a bit of haylage. So yeah, he seems happy. And I will update you guys as we go along. Hello, this is your new friend. This is Duke. Do you want to say hi, guys? <laughs> Got a fly on me. Duke, do you want to say hi to your new friends? Yeah, you were so good to travel, weren't you? <laughs> no, he's probably seen my masks before. Do you want to say hello? Oh, you're more interested in the food. That's Casper. Yeah. Be nice, Caspi. Good boy. Oh, Joey wants to get in on the action. Joey, this is your mini me. <laughs> there we go, that's Joey. Do you want to say hi? Oh, <laughs> they're all making friends. Okay. I know, well, let Mickey say hi. I, I know, I know, <laughs> I'm getting the Shh, morbs. There we go. Here's Mickey. Yeah, this is your new friend. Oh, you're all being very friendly. That's good, you're all, be, all being nice. This is your little younger brother. Yeah. Duke's like, I'll have a bit of that grass, actually. <laughs> Duke, you're not bothered at all. You just want the grass. Okay. Mickey, this is going to be your new best friend. Okay. Come on, Duke, let's get you some water. Come on in. I know, that's Mickey. I'm going to say hello to him later. Come on in. Good boy, walk on. Walk on. You can do it. Come on. Walk on. All right, guys, we're now back home. Duke is having his first bit of grass here. I'm just hand grazing him at the moment. He was so good to travel here. Honestly, we didn't hear a squeak from him. I think he just like had a bit of a sn snooze, had a bit of haylage. He was honestly better than Joey is at traveling. And that's saying something. <laughs> so um, he, yeah, we are really happy with him. He seems pretty happy just having some grass as well. Obviously he can't give you too much. You have to be on a strict diet. Um, so he's had a little hello to Joey and Casper and Mickey. And um, honestly, now I can see Joey and him together. He does look like a mini Joey, I'm not gonna lie. So I thought I would talk to you a little bit more about how he came into our life because um, I went to World Horse Welfare I think it was the 4th of June I went to go and see him or 
go to Wild Horse Welfare, not even looking for a horse. We were there filming a video, and while we're in the field, this guy was just up in our faces. He was loving the camera, and we just fell in love with him. And Wild Horse Welfare were like, well, he does need a home. We were like, yay, we'll like sign up to um, come another day and do like a handling day, see if um, he likes us and we're sort of fit as um, being his owners. So Wild Horse Welfare, when you're rehoming a horse, you have to go through lots of different strict processes, which we went through. So I had to send them footage of our stable and everything. We had to do a handling day to make sure that we were the correct owners for him. Um, and they also wanted somebody that had experience of young with handling young horses, which I had, which was great um, he seemed really happy with me leading him especially at times um, where he can be a little bit nervy or there were some things that I led him over they'd never been over before such as um, like different types of um, things on the floor and he just took everything in his stride and listened to me and trusted me which was so nice to see um, then we also had a lady called Sarah come over to our place have a look around we had an inspection so we passed all of that so yeah here he is today with us and honestly I have just fallen so in love with him so is my family and um, yeah just so excited to make so many incredible memories with him but yeah I need to um, set up his and Mickey's field and the next I think it's time to introduce them to each other because obviously Mickey is going to be sort of like Duke's mentor and show him around the place he is very interested in the grass food you are a foodie aren't you mm-hmm it looks like Mickey and Duke have got along really well actually I think maybe because they're both very food orientated they're more interested in the food uh, but we're gonna be keeping an eye on them for the next couple of days making sure that they get along and things but anyway guys I just like to say a huge thank you for watching my videos because you're the reason I've been able to rehome Duke if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't be doing YouTube as my full-time job and I wouldn't be able to have you know the time to have another horse like this so I just like to say a huge thank you and I'd also like to say a huge thank you to World Horse Welfare as well for trusting Duke with me um, I can't wait for all the cool things we're gonna get up to we're gonna have lots of fun um, but anyway guys I'd just like to say a huge thank you again for watching today's video if you're new or have not done so already please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it and I'll see you next time bye